So today we are building a huge theme park. Well, it's it's not that huge. It's just just a theme park so the area where we are going to be building this theme park is in this area here we have two reasons as to why i have chose this particular spot for my theme park reason number one if someone's driving down this road for example here they'll see a huge theme park and then they'll think oh my god i want to go there so they'll come off here and they'll come to my theme park the second reason why i'm putting it here is i didn't know what else to put here so uh theme park it was with a theme park we're going to get a lot of traffic first off we need to have our entrance so i want to bring this into a separate road just because uh, it's going to hold a lot of traffic here so we have to try and take some of the traffic off the main road we also have a bus station there so not a bus station a bus stop there which is absolutely perfect so this area we're going to have some parking what we're going to do is to create some parking on vanilla is just simply zone this area select our local goods produce and select that in that district and then start zoning some of these and i also understand that we're going to get a lot of tourism in this area as well so we're going to have a little bit of a tourist area over here maybe with some hotels and stuff and the main theme park is going to be situated over here. There we go. That's that start. It's not green hill. We're going to have this little change in a minute. So theme park entrance, main entrance, boom. So I'm thinking we'll put it slightly over to the left where we've got this coming over. This act is actually kind of a perfect divider. I want sort of like a green space in the middle where restaurants and stuff would be. So we'll just come up here. We'll come up here. It's obviously these are going to start screaming about noise, but um, they're going to have to cope with it because I want my theme park here, so we'll just have to deal with it. Uh, so we can bring this off and we can create a nice sort of ending zone here. I want to sort of do a split here, so I wonder if we can just come off like that and then sort of bring it back in. And then these little pockets of space. We can detail into having, you know, restaurants and having green space there and stuff. So I don't actually know how big some of the assets are. So I'm just going to start placing them down. Up on entry, I want you to be able to see something big. So we want something big here. Something very big here. So like the roller coaster, for example. The plazas aren't really important. So we'll just put them anywhere. We'll just sort of plonk them around. Try and place it on the back of here. Beautiful. There we go. So that's a plaza. Welcome to the place. Uh, so we've got a plaza in. Uh, what's this one? Amusement park cafe. So for this, I want to create a separate area. So actually, we're going to move that. I don't want that there anymore. We'll put it here. Um, so here in this central space, I sort of want that sort of coming out now. So I'm going to do that like so beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. In this central space, I want this to be greenery and restaurant so i'm going to move that plaza again and put it on the outside god damn it so i want this space to be like i've said six times to be a sort of you know a restaurant space where people come to eat so we're gonna have maybe a, we're gonna have the tree path i wonder if we can have a straight one in there you know what that actually looks kind of cool so we'll keep that we'll keep that can we get one there beautiful ah oh looking great it's looking great look at that i'm just so good at the game we'll have a restroom here probably gonna need another one maybe over here perfect souvenir shop we'll have that side of the restroom uh here what we got that cafe near the restrooms that makes sense we could probably get two in here in fact i just want one so the next asset is the game booth one so we'll have this come out i'll we'll have this come out and then straight beautiful and then straight and then straight and then we'll do what everyone else does and we'll place game booth one in this corner nope that corner that's correct we'll place the other one in this corner beautiful 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 what we'll do is we'll start curving this this way beautiful and then we'll have this one curve back that way so what we've got next the uh, carousel is that how you pronounce it? I don't know. So we've got this restaurants and stuff in there. So we need the kiddie section. This is going to be the kiddie section. Have a carousel. 
here and then i think that's all we can place for now now we're just going to place a few more restaurant like park cafe areas so they have one at the side of the restrooms that kind of does make sense try and get as close as possible yeah i like that perfect we'll also have a souvenir shop over here we'll put one opposite this yep and then this is another restroom so we'll have this in this little pocket so now i'm just gonna wait until these level up we're gonna increase that ticket price to 12 we, you know we're all about the money and we're gonna wait until we get the visitors for this park so we need 500 visitors while we're waiting we're gonna try and get more visitors into this area by adding in some of the transport link we could do with a tram stop coming in here because we already have a tram road here so i'm thinking if we So that should be fine for now we'll probably change it when we come to build that area and then we're going to come near the train station so we've currently got these very nice tram stop over here if i must say so myself and then we're going to create a new line from here so we'll have one stop there we go and we'll bring it out and then we'll have one stop we'll have it a bit further down actually and then we'll bring it back round and then add a stop directly outside the main entrance bring it back stop outside the bus stop and then bring it back down and complete the line so while we're waiting we'll keep it on three times speed and we'll start putting in some of our tourist area we've got some hotels in there which is absolutely fabulous and they're looking out towards the ocean that's what we want um i'm thinking the elevated train station would fit so nicely here we are going to put one in let's wait for these trains to cross there we go and then we'll get us vied up which we've got as train tracks and link it beautiful that's what we want we've now got a train station in let's add a train line we've got 300 at the minute i will now wait and uh we'll see you when it has leveled up we have unlocked level two so <laughs> <laughs> rotating teacups and piggy train so excited to put the piggy train in here uh the kids section again uh, i mean it's all in this area so it can be placed anywhere um i kind of want two of these put that in there at the edge of that one beautiful and we'll have some little sort of gardens down the back of here so what else did we unlock we unlocked the rotating teacup this is literally just going here so i can jump the power across yes so we've got a rotating teacup there beautiful we'll have one over here as well i'm not all about that group in life we'd like to spread them out we'll put one here yeah go on then we'll have one there don't worry it looks a bit random at the minute but this place is gonna look amazing when i've finished detailing it. honestly it will be the best theme park you have ever seen in your entire life so we're gonna wait for our next milestone which we are how many uh 2000 okay brilliant guess i'll do some detail and finally we have made it to level three we've now unlocked the swinging boat the house of horrors ooh, and bumper cars brilliant during that cut i've basically just been purging these i've just been waiting for the right asset to spawn we've got one more to spawn there i've also made a few little gardens here uh done a little bit more detail but nothing too major but i did want to remind you guys that even though this is an amusement park you can still place other park assets. If you're going to see park asset, you can actually place you can actually place other park assets in here. So for example, I've used a climbing frame here and I've just put that in the central place. Um we are going to place down our house of horrors probably in this corner. We're gonna tuck it away nicely in this corner here. Um so let's do that. Uh but I do want to mention this. This is a quick trip that I got from um Daxato. So Daxato actually downgraded his paths to this sort of path. And it actually fits in really nicely with the House of Horrors. I'm not sure how big this is, so I could just be doing this for nothing here. I'll try and get a little bit there. Yeah, that'll do. That'll fit nicely there. And we're going to densely populate it with trees and stuff, make it look spooky. Now, you can just see the tip of that. That is perfect. Let's try and get someone walking in. I'm just going to turn it down a little bit. Let's jump on board with this guy. Ooh. Ooh spooky so the next building we have got is the swimming boat and the bumper cars 
<laughs> Are these kids things as well? I, I suppose the swinging boat isn't, to be honest with you. I suppose that's kind of both. Uh, we don't want anything there. Uh, can we get that there? Do we have that there? Yep, that'll do. We'll probably have two of them. We'll have one there. And we'll have another one nicely in there. Bumper cars as well. We've got quite a lot there anyway. And we'll have one in this bit so that's pretty much all we can place for now another thing i do want to mention as well is just adding these little sort of garden areas like just because people are at a theme park doesn't mean that they don't want to chill out for a little bit so we'll just put some normal parks in there as well because obviously these are aesthetical but it just adds the effect of that little bit of realism i'll come back when we have unlocked level four there we go that one actually didn't take us long because uh, i loved the ticket price so a lot of more people started coming so we have now unlocked the drop tower ride and the pen, pendulum, pen, pendulum ride. Beautiful stuff. So let's find out where these are going. Let's have a look. We'll have this along the back here. Beautiful. And then we're going to go along and get our big dropper. We'll have this along the back as well. There we go. So it looks out that way. Oh, actually it looks out all around. That's a big ride. That is is level four done let's see how many more we need another five thousand beers to get to ten thousand okay let's drop the ticket price to like five and then a lot more people will start coming finally level five we have reached the roller coaster and the ferris wheel we can now put our prices back up i set it to six dollars so we get more uh people coming in we're gonna say it's 15 i think that's a fair price roller coaster first how big is it oh that's all right we can situate that sort of at the back of here. Maybe from there to there. I wonder if that'll work. Brilliant. Fits perfect. Absolutely perfect. Slot that in there. And the Ferris wheel, that can be here. We've now got everything, I believe, in the theme park. Now it is time to do some detailing. You can stick around if you wish but other than that if you haven't seen the campus video i highly recommend you check it out it will be on the end screen let's do some detailing. 